Welcome to Backfrap Tips and Tricks. I'm Alex, the architect from Backfrap, and today I'll show you how to use Backfrap to produce code for you. Many times you know a programming language, but you don't have any experience with Backfrap, and this is why we created the uh, API reference. Here, as you can see, I created a person class with a few properties. So I have name, which is a string, age, which is a number, birthday, which is a date, and has children, which, which is a boolean. And let's suppose I know one programming language, but I don't know anything about Backfrap and have to work with this class. All I have to do is go to API and click API Reference. This will open up a new website and here you will find all your classes, including the person class I just created. If you expand this and up here, you'll see all programming languages that are supported. Let's suppose I'm working with JavaScript, so I'll click JavaScript. And in here, I'll find methods for creating, reading, updating, and deleting objects. Let's suppose I want to create a new person in JavaScript. All I have to do is click Creating Objects, and here you'll find code that will read through the schemas of my class, so I have name, which is a string, age, which is a number, birthday, which is a date, and has children, which is a boolean. So all I have to do is copy this code, paste it into my project, and it will just work. And this code reflects the class in real time. So if I go back there and add new properties or remove properties, all I have to do is come back here, refresh the screen, and the code will reflect the class immediately. So to illustrate that, I'm just going to copy this code, go back to my dashboard, and here inside console, we have our JavaScript console. So I'm just paste this in here. Let's copy it again. Paste. Save. And run. So as you can see, it created a new person in my person class, which the name is a string, age is one, birthday is today, and has children is true. If I go back to my database browser, and here is my record, name a string, age is one, birthday is today, and has children is true. So this can accelerate your development by quite a lot because you don't have to know anything about Backfrap in order to produce code as long as you know one of the supported programming languages. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. Also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you are subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or any implementation you'd like to see, please leave it on the comment section below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.